That's really awkward, but well, okay. First of all, welcome to my first studio vlog. <laughs> I've been thinking that maybe I want to document more of my journey, and I kind of want to have something to look back on someday <laughs> and see how far I've come. I mean, it's always nice to look back on things like this. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Like, my life is not that exciting. First of all, I want to address the fact that I didn't join Inktober this year. I swear I was intending to join... Hold on. I have, I have proof. This is my sketchbook and... Sorry, I'm thinking maybe I should vlog with this just to add more movement to my shots because it's... I hope this isn't boring. Nope. Hey guys, so... Um, maybe if I sit on the bed, it'll be a bit more casual. Yeah, I have proof that I really intended to do Inktober this year. And if you haven't seen last year's Inktober, I an I made these animated ink drawings. And I have concepts, like I have, I've got fairies and Medusa and a skeleton and a mermaid and a gnome, a unicorn. But unfortunately, I underestimated the time that it will take me to make them. I also have like three client projects for this month. There was just no way for me to be able to do everything and stay sane. What I did this morning is that I filmed my DIY camera video mount no wait my diy camera mount rig no my diy camera rig video i filmed that and it took me the entire morning right now i'm about to wait let's go back to the desk <laughs> so right oh ouch and right now i'm about to go edit my video and yeah that's what's happening today i'll be home i'll be home time to start a weekly vlog on so yeah right now I'm still editing my video I know it's gonna take a long while so the video that I'm working on is the DIY camera mount video so there's some construction involved I tried to edit the clips that I already had where my dad was building the, the mount from a viewers perspective I feel like the clips would be really confusing so I just decided to animate some parts of it to make things much clearer. And I'm currently drawing up some assets for the animation, which is not that complicated. It's just literal planks of wood. I guess I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. There, okay. I look better with my hair down. Hey guys, so it's... Sunday. Sorry, I forgot. I'm continuing to work on this video, the DIY camera mount. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it today. I think I mentioned it last night, but I went ahead and drew the asset so that I can animate the... the... 
procedure, the instructions on how to construct the camera mount. That's all I'm going to be working on today. Oh, and also, I should probably remember to make some time to work on my advent calendars. This is what I mean when I said that my life is really that interesting because literally I just work and work and work all day, every day. So I don't know how this studio vlog is going to turn out. Most of the interesting things are happening in my head, like all the ideas, all the concepts and random thoughts but outside of my head it's like just me working away on my desk but that's the reality of things good morning guys so it is wednesday i think no monday i just got back from the gym hence this so yeah i'm just gonna go fix myself a quick snack, and then go back to work. Oh, this is a look and a half. <laughs> I washed my hair and that's why it's wet and I just I can't be bothered to blow dry it. So we're gonna go with the wet look for today. But anyway, I just want to update you on what I'm doing today on this fine Monday morning. I just finished editing my video and it's looking so good. Like I'm so excited to publish it and I'm currently waiting for it to finish rendering. While I'm waiting for things to export, there's a lot of things that I need to do. Um, First of all, I need to catch up on planning for my advent cal calendar. Calendar! Just waiting for that motorcycle to pass by. Okay, so I've been talking about that advent calendar a lot on this vlog. And I might as well tell you guys what it's gonna be about. So my advent calendar, I'm planning that it's gonna be 24 fun Christmas themed tutorials that are focused on digital creativity. So I'm gonna show some fun things using Photoshop, Adobe Animate, I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do After Effects, and maybe I will, I don't know. And also stop motion animation which I'm so excited about because I, I like doing stop motion and I think it's fun, it looks so cool when it's done. <laughs> so yeah, I need to finish planning that out, I need to write down the steps for the tutorial for each tutorial what I need like materials for the stop-motion animation and what else hmm. oh no well, just, I, I need to plan things so I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to do all that for December and I'm not just getting your hopes up like I did with Inktober <laughs> I have a problem. You know when I said that I'm just gonna wait for it to render before I check out and see... Okay, wait. Words. You know when I said a while ago that I was just gonna wait for it to render and uh, well, I rendered it, I watched it, it was all good and then I exported it and for some reason the playback that I was watching in Premiere did not match the output of the video when I rendered it. So I don't know what's happening and now I was thinking maybe I just need to update my Premiere Pro CC thing. So that's what I'm waiting for now with our lightning speed internet here. I don't know how long it's gonna take and I really just want to finish this video. But maybe, I, maybe it's better if I take a nap. Right? Right? It's frustrating, right? Amber, can you tell me? Why are you licking my arm? Amber. Can you please explain to me why when I try to export my video in Premiere, the playback is very different from when I watch the preview within the Premiere software. And I really just want to finish this video because I'm so excited to finish it so I can post it and share it with you guys! <gasps> 
You don't really care. Okay, yes. Such speed. One eternity later. I just finished updating my Premiere Pro CC and I've also restarted my computer and one of those things made the video okay. I don't know what it, which one works but it worked and everything's okay now and I'm okay. Hey guys, how do you like the new hair? <laughs> I really wanted a change and this is a very drastic change. Well, for me it is. Like, I look completely different. I feel like with my hair down, I look like a little girl going to school. But with my hair up, like this, it looks okay. So I don't know, I still have to adjust to this hair. So I hope you uh, like it. <laughs> oh gosh, I look like a wreck. So I just want to quickly jump on here to talk about something that I'm really struggling with. I'm really finding it difficult to be productive or to manage my time because I have all these ideas, I have all these things that I really want to do. I have projects, I have videos, I want to do blog posts, I want to revive my blog, but I want to do all these YouTube videos, but I also want to do animation and I also need money, so I need to do client work and I get so overwhelmed by it. I have thought about hiring someone, but right now I'm not really in the position to be that way with my money because I'm trying to save up for something really big. So I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. So maybe some of you guys can relate to this. Any fellow workaholics out there? Um, it's a whole mess. Happy Thursday! Wait, no. Happy Wednesday, you guys! The thing that I mentioned yesterday, this whole thing with me trying to figure out how to be productive and sane with my work schedule, it's a continuous process of discovering, of trying new things, of learning. And now I'm kind of trying to regroup myself. So for today, I'm gonna be focusing only on my advent calendar. I'm gonna try to, to not scroll through social media so that I don't get distracted by new ideas which is, you know, it's okay, it's good to have ideas all the time, but it gets really distracting and stressful when you want to do everything at the same time. You can do everything, but you can't do everything. No, that's not it. You can do anything, but you can't do everything. I just told myself I wouldn't scroll through social media. Just one last thing. Let me just check this. So it's 7 p.m. and I've had a pretty productive day. I was able to sketch a lot of the ideas that I want to do for my advent calendar. I'm feeling kind of good about today because I didn't put pressure on myself to do so much. Not like in the past few days or like the past few years. I'm able to give more to the project which in turn gives more to my clients and gives more to my audience. I find that there's more to give when I'm not spreading myself out too thin. Also, I've been reading this book. It's called You Are a Badass at Making Money and I feel like it's kind of a sign from the universe that yesterday I was talking all about how I was feeling so overwhelmed with everything that I have to do. It can't be a coincidence that when I, the next time I open this book, the next few pages, we're talking about how to get over that mindset of feeling overwhel overwhelmed. I even highlighted and placed an asterisk on this. Overwhelm, just like calm, is a state of mind and all you have to do is choose which party you're going to attend. Mermaid of Duty. 
I wish. Hey guys, so it's Thursday and today's focus is going to be all about one of my client projects. That means that I can't show you guys what I'm going to be working on today. But yeah, that's a non-disclosure agreement for you. And what I'm going to be working on for that project is sketching and designing the characters for it. And lately I've been feeling like with my drawings, I want to explore more on different styles or a different way of coloring things. And I kind of just want to try new things. And I noticed that I need to work more on playing with the shapes of my character design. And so I have The Silver Way by Stephen Silver. And I really like characters that are kind of cartoon modern in art style. So that's like a lot of fun shapes. Like think of it like Dexter's Lab and the Powerpuff Girls. I really like that type of aesthetic when it comes to character design. So I really want to push myself more to try out more interesting shapes and different ways of drawing. I'm gonna be looking through this while I'm working on my sketches as well as these two children's books that I really love and I always look through them when I'm drawing characters. The art here is made by Pete Oswald. I feel like this is a perfect example of the kind of really fun and quirky character design that I really like. So here, like, look at this. It's so cute. Look at this elephant. And then, like, here, there's, like, th these interesting shapes. And I really want to be able to achieve that. I just like how different and aesthetically playful the character designs are. Oh, here, I really like the way he drew these birds, herons. And I like the way he colored them as well, like all the nice textures and some details here on the feathers and the wings. These white birds down here, they're like really simple in shape and it's so cute and it's so appealing. So I just had my lunch and I finished sketching my character design on my sketchbook and I'm really happy with how it turned out and I just wanted to share with you guys a tip that I read from The Silver Way which really helped me and might help you guys too. To be honest, I haven't finished reading The Silver Way. I just like to flip through it while I'm doing character designs. I came across this topic all about drawing through and it talks about drawing your character like a 3D sort of way so you kind of imagine what the covered parts would look like where these lines would end up like with this you can see that this bottom part of the cape ends up here but in here it doesn't make sense because it should end up here but it looks like it's ending up there and yeah I feel like I'm guilty of not applying that technique in my drawing I tried it I'm really happy with how my sketch turned out so I'm just gonna transfer the sketch to my laptop so I can work on it some more and color my design and try out different colors for my characters so hey guys so it's Friday and I just got done from my Shane Dawson break, which literally means I spent an hour of my time, of my life, watching epito ep episode. <laughs> so I just finished episode six of Shane's documentary about Jake Paul. Yeah, that wasn't fake. Like, oh, that was completely real. Wait, so what actually happened? Yeah. Do you guys believe her? Big mood. So now that's over with. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue working on my client project, my secret client project. And I honestly don't know how this vlog is gonna turn out, so. Six figures, I was only four. Dun, 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 dun. Saturday and um, 
Good morning. I'm gonna be heading to the Animation Council of the Philippines because they invited me to be a judge for the Animahe Nation Philippine Animation Philippine Animation Festival. And so I think I'm a pre-selection judge. That's gonna be a whole day of watching different Shh. Yo, it's noisy. So there's gonna be a whole day of just watching and judging animation entries and I've only had one judging experience before for an animation contest and that was for my school which was Benilde. They had me judge for the Benilde Animation Festival and now this one is kind of a bigger festival here in the Philippines so I'm really looking forward to that. I don't know. I don't know what to feel. <laughs> I'm just kind of looking forward to watching all the entries. Like I swear if you had told my 17 year old me when because when I was 17 I was kind of working on my very first animation festival entry and it was for also for animation and it wasn't a school project or anything I just wanted to join and I just wanted to have my own short film I swear if you have told my 17 year old self that in a few years well no in 10 years holy crap I'm old but yeah, if you had told my 17-year-old self that I would become a pre-selection judge for Animahe Nation, like... Good evening, and I just wanna jump on here and no, no. I just wanna quickly jump on here and end my studio vlog. To be honest, I don't even know what happened in this vlog or how this vlog is gonna turn out or if it's entertaining. But I'm gonna edit it and Amber. Oh, Amber. No, Amber. Stay here. Ha. <sighs> So, to be honest, I don't even know how this vlog is gonna turn out or if it's even... No! No, Amber! No! As I was saying, I have no idea how this vlog is gonna turn out or if it's good or if it's entertaining. I don't even remember what I talked about. I think I was trying to talk about being productive. I also finished doing my sketches for my client and I already sent that in so that's a good way to end my week. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this first studio vlog and if you did, please give it a like. No wait, that's how it goes. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and while you're at it, be sure you're subscribed. Create your own adventures and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.